Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, all my friends all across the happy little globe today. My name is Leaf, and as always, it is so great to have you guys here, especially for this little exhibit. I am so happy about this one. This one is for our little Caracal friends, and I really do hope I pronounce that correctly. So the Caracal, it is a very interesting animal. It's a very adorable cat. If you guys have never seen them before, they are absolutely adorable. So these guys are actually not just found in Africa but they're also found in Asia as well they are pretty much your typical like kind of they're related to the lynx is what I'm trying to say and they're kind of small so they only get up to like three feet big which really isn't like what you'd expect for like a good predator but these guys are dangerous so they are able to jump like really tall like only like probably five or six feet high I don't know but they're very deadly so they can pretty much take out any rat, bird, or even deer if they're feeling up for it that they can. So the exhibit I kind of wanted to go for today was a little bit of a Egyptian kind of style. Now we haven't really done anything like this in this park yet so far, so I really want to include like sort of like a pyramid kind of based off of the bent pyramid in Egypt because that probably is one of my favorite ones because it's just such a unique shape. It's not like your typical like um kind of pyramid shape. It's a lot Lot more intricate it's a lot more you know it's a lot more varied it's a lot more different and I don't know it's just kind of neat to me so that's really what I wanted to do so moving on we still have some more fun facts about the caracals that we can get into so you guys might notice they're little ear tufts uh, and they do resemble lynx a lot so they are very much related to lynx except they're a lot more adapted for you know the hotter desert or scrubland weather they're also referred to as the african or desert lynx as well so their coloration actually really does help them as well because it's so like it's a nice sandy gray sandy brown and it just works so well for them. They're such a wonderful little predator and I love them so much. But let's talk a little bit about the habitat as well. You may have noticed I included a few things in here that wasn't in between this and the last episode. I did include a little bit of a building, like a pavilion. You can see it right there to kind of look down on their oryxes. And that's just because I want to have a little bit of an alternative view right into their habitat. I feel like they're pretty neat creatures. So having a little bit of break for guests to sit as well as having another alternative, you know, area for guests to actually look down into, it would have benefited all of them for the entire time being. And of course, I'm sticking with our tried and true glass and wood walls all throughout our viewing areas. I feel like it came out really well. And getting our caracals in here was a little bit of a mess, but um, eventually we got it all settled out. We kind of have to make the habitat do, but we essentially do, and it all does. So getting these boys in here, we have two males, so they're going to dominate this entire part part of the park and they can actually get a little glimpse into the aardvark habitat as well but they don't really bother them too much doing a little bit more foliage work as well keeping this nice tried and true kind of you know aesthetic going on through this entire place i think it came out pretty damn well it's a little bit of a shorter video this time around but i hope you guys did enjoy it we have a little bit more to get into though so we're not just done yet but yeah i wanted to frame the little bit of a bottom of the pyramid a little bit more and i do add some water in there for the last shot just because I felt like this habitat needs something a little bit more so yeah that's pretty much it yeah thank you guys for watching um I know it may seem like I'm kind of forcing the series probably the truth but I still love Kalahari Zoo and I love like you know just the initial jolt of it at first and I still love carrying it through. So hopefully before the next update drops, hopefully that'll be next week by the time you're watching this, I'll have a little bit of a workshop blueprint for you guys. So you guys can actually pop in here. You won't even need any mods to pop in here as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the B-roll and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.